Hey guys, this is Glory coming to you on a Tuesday, May the 4th. Here's a mess. Anyway, it's been a good day so far. Uh, I went this morning, uh, had a good workout, but I tell you what, it was so hot in that gym. It was unreal. Uh, I think their airs broke, but I thought it was just me, you know, me and my hot self anyway. But, um,. I mean, it, it was a good workout, though. Um, I didn't get the treadmill as long as what I would have liked to, but it was just too hot, and my heart rate kept going up and down, so I uh, wanted to kind of protect myself. I didn't want to pass out. But um, other than that, I mean, it's uh, temperatures are getting uh, really hot here uh, in Georgia. It's supposed to get up to like 88 today, and that's hot for a fat girl. Um, uh, for me, if it gets above 60 degrees, I'm sweating like a pig. Um, sorry, the girls are showing. Uh, has been, been napping and stuff, and I didn't want to get fully dressed. Um, so I just put on my little, uh, dress I bought at Walmart, uh, last year. And it is so cool, and I can just throw it on and be comfortable. And you can see my guns are showing here, see? So I'm trying to build up some uh, muscle. I'm up to, um, on the weights, I'm up to 30 pounds on the um, the uh, circuit, um, which I think is really good considering I started out 15 or 20 um, on the, um, I think it's called a leg press. I'm doing uh, 60 on it. So uh, I may not be able to slap it. Maybe I sure can kick them. Uh, cause I got a lot of strength in my legs, so don't mess with me. Uh, we sitting here, I was watching my YouTube videos and uh, watching uh, Susan talk about her uh, five favorite things. And, oh, she brought up some stuff with salad. And I'm like, oh my God, got me craving a salad. I'm like that, though. I can see you eating anything, and then I start craving it. Um, and then I was sitting here, and I started smelling something. I thought... You look around, looking, I thought, oh my lord, that's a skunk. Because I could smell it just kind of like lightly. It wasn't enough to uh, make me go running for the hills. It was just enough to make me aware there was a skunk nearby. And old dumb me used to live in these little poor houses and stuff. Which my house, don't, I mean my trailer stuff, it's not full of holes or nothing. But I kind of lean back like this, look down beside me. <laughs> I thought, well, gosh, a skunk's done got in my house, and it's going to squirt me, and I'm going to have to go buy all the tomato juice in Gordon County to take a bath in it. But uh, what it is is my uh, landlord up there, he was uh, clearing out a spot to, um, he would built a building, he was going to you know, put it up there, clearing out a spot, and guess what they come across? A skunk and its babies. And um, she got a little bit of a spray in because I guess she's trying to protect those babies or protect herself one. And one of the guys kind of uh, managed to knock her out. He didn't kill her. He just knocked her out enough to where she couldn't finish spraying. And um, my landlord's girlfriend, just love that girl to death, she had uh, brought one of the babies. She was holding it like this in her hands. And I looked at I said, is that what I'm smelling? Is that thing spraying? She said, no, 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 this one's a baby. It really didn't even have its eyes open good, but it was so cute. You know, yeah, I know people take skunks to make pets out of them. You know, they take and, um, uh, take their little um, glands out, stink bags, whatever you call them, to where they can't spray. But uh, that little thing's just adorable, and it really looked like that little skunk on Bambi. You know, the kind, uh, I don't know what its name was, Stinker or something other, but it had the little, two little white stripes that's like a V on the top of its head, and it didn't have a white stripe like down its back and out its tail. And it just, you know, just sitting there, just, you know, just, I guess, scared because she had it, you know, in her hands and some gloves and stuff. But it's just, you know, it's just so uh, amazing. Any kind of animal that's in a baby form is cute except for a mouse. You could not bring a mouse around me. I hurt somebody. Because I just can't. 
my hair laying out. Can't stand my hair sticking out. It, what I did, I took a nap. Na oh, well, this is sticking out anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. I'm trying to remember what I did. Oh, I know what I did. I went to um, Kroger this morning, picked up a prescription, and with me living down here, I'd love to save. Um, or get a hold of some buckets stuff to save a rainwater. I try to, and you know I've always been that way. Well, I don't understand why. I try to always recycle. Um, like when I go to, uh, after I've made a, uh, we just run water through our bun coffee pot to make coffee. And then, well, we drink instant because the other kind's too hard on my stomach. But um, I always save the water like if it's, you know, left over next day, what happened after it's cooled down. I'll save that. And water my plants with it because I really believe in recycling and not have so much waste. Uh, I even carry a small trash can in my vehicle because I won't litter. Uh, I save trash up, you know, in that little can and then empty it. Which my husband fusses about me having so much in my car, but you know it is what it is. A uh, shout out to Alicia. I think her surgery's to tomorrow. So, uh, good luck to you, and um, hope everything goes well, and we want to update as soon as possible. But, uh, oh, that's it. Oh, gosh, I just went completely off. Um, what I did while I was at Kroger's, I went and asked him for a bucket. And, you know, if you go to, like, Kroger's, Walmart, places like that where they have a bakery, they have these really nice uh, plastic buckets that you can use for uh, washing cars, catching rainwater, different things like that. So I got me two of them. One had pink icing in it, or the leftovers of pink ice, and the other had white. You talk about a mess. My husband put them in my shower, just set them there, and run hot water in them. Well, guess what? Now I've got a pink goo all in the bottom of my shower, so I told him, I said, uh, go get me some bleach, and I'll put bleach in, hopefully that'll... Um, you know, clean the buckets up plus clean up my shower, but I'm thinking with that stuff as sticky and gummy as it was, I can't imagine, you know, just eating that, you know, because the ice and I'm sure it was like that buttercream stuff, but it just had so much of a greasy texture to it. I don't know, maybe it's the butter in it or something, but Lord help, that stuck to my shower uh, stall. I'll go in there and forget about it and slip and slide and bang my head on the shower wall <laughs> whatever. But anyhow, uh, I would let you all go. The hubby's in there sleeping and I'm surprised he's not coming here screaming, skunk, skunk, snuck in the house. <laughs> I don't know he has to smell it between it going through the vents through the house and probably through that little air conditioner we got in the window in there. <clears throat> but then again, knowing him, he claims he don't have no sense of smell, but we'll see. Okay, y'all have a good uh, rest of the evening. It's almost 8.30 here. But uh, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. Take time to stop and smell the roses or the coffee or whatever it is that turns you on. Okay, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.